Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that's a little bit different for you. I am talking about granola. Now we all know granola, we love granola. It's a really delicious and nutritious breakfast. Today I am teaming up with the brand Nutribrex. They have brought out a brand new granola in two different flavors. It's called Five Ways Granola and they tell you basically the five ways that you can eat this. You can have it as normal granola in porridge, as a topping, maybe on some yogurt, birch or muesli and also put in a smoothie. And this one is great for kids that don't eat a lot of breakfast. If you throw in some granola to their smoothie, it helps to fill them up a bit. So that is the five ways that Nutribrex suggests having your granola, but I'm going to show you five more, maybe slightly surprising ways that you can use up the granola that you have at home. So first up, I have this granola banana sushi. Now this makes a really great breakfast or even an afternoon snack for kids. They're going to love this one. All you need to do is to take a whole banana. On top, we're gonna to put some peanut butter. We're then gonna sprinkle on some granola and add a few sprinkles or even maybe some chocolate chips on the top for a little decoration. We're then gonna cut it into little bites, kind of like sushi bites. And you could serve it as a snack just like this, or maybe you can serve it as part of breakfast with a little pot of yogurt. It makes a really delicious, nutritious, and filling breakfast for kids. So next up is my frozen yogurt bark. Now this is a really great snack and a really healthy alternative to ice cream for kids. So if your kids ask for ice cream all the time, you need to try this. All we need to do is to add some plain Greek yogurt to a bowl. We add a bit of honey in to sweeten it up. We're then going to put that into some kind of tray or dish lined with foil. And then on top, we're going to add our granola and also some other toppings like maybe fruit, chocolate chips or anything that you have at home that your kids might like. That then goes into the freezer for a couple of hours until it's firmed up. You can then break it into lumps, into pieces and either serve it straight away or keep it in the freezer in some kind of freezer bag or a container. So that's it, super easy but really healthy and another great one for kids. So next up we have granola bars, another great afternoon snack for kids, especially after school when they're absolutely ravenous and you know that they won't make it to dinner without some food. Now my recipe is no bake so it makes it really really easy to make these. All you gotta do is add some oats, so that's just some plain rolled oats and some granola into a bowl, mix it up. Put that to the side and then in a saucepan we need some coconut oil, some peanut butter or any kind of nut butter will do and also some honey and we're going to melt that down and cook it for about four minutes until it starts to bubble up but just be sure that it doesn't burn. We're then going to add that melted mixture into the oats and granola and give everything a really good stir. That then goes into a dish which I've lined with some parchment paper and we're just going to press it down really good to get it nice and compact and then put it into the freezer for about 30 minutes until it's nice and firm. You can then take it out and cut it into slices. So as I said, these make a really great afternoon snack for kids because they're packed full of loads of nutritious but also filling ingredients. So they only really need to eat one, maybe with a serving of fruit, and then they will be good to go until dinner. So my next probably quite surprising way to use granola is actually chicken dippers. Now my kids love any form of chicken nuggets so this makes a really great kind of healthy alternative way to make them at home yourself. So all we need to do is to crack a couple of eggs into a bowl and whisk them up. Then in another bowl we're going to add our granola and then we need some chicken mini fillets. They're kind of like the mini strips of chicken or you can use small dice pieces of chicken either. That's completely fine. We're just going to dip them in the egg and then coat them completely in the chicken nuggets and then put them aside onto a plate. When we've done all of the chicken, we're then going to transfer them onto a lined baking tray and then bake them in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes until they're cooked through. You probably noticed I didn't even need to use any oil with this, so they're a really, really healthy way to make chicken nuggets for kids at home, and my kids love them. So my final way of using granola at home is probably the most surprising. It's my granola bread. Now bread gets a lot of flack these days. I think people think that it's not healthy, it's packed full of rubbish, but if you make your own at home, you know exactly what goes into it, and this is why the granola is a fantastic addition. So all we need to do to a large bowl is add some plain flour, some wholemeal flour, and our granola, and then to that we're going to add a little bit of bicarbonate of soda and mix it all up. 
We then need a jug or another bowl and to that we're going to add some milk, some yogurt, some honey and some sunflower oil. Give that a good stir and then we'll pour that mixture into the dry ingredients and mix everything together until it's well combined. This is then optional, you don't have to add them but I like to add some raisins as well just for a little bit more sweetness and texture to the bread. That mixture then goes into a two pan loaf tin which I've greased really really well. We're just going to add a slit down the middle and then bake it for about 15 minutes until it's cooked through. Leave it to cool for a little bit on a wire rack and then you can cut it and serve it. And it's really, really great for breakfast because it has wholemeal flour, it's got granola. It's a bit more filling than your standard white bread. And my kids really enjoyed it the other day with some jam on top and served with some fruit on the side. So guys, that was my five different and maybe surprising ways of using up this Nutribrax granola at home. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have other ways or other ideas that you use granola in your house, please do let me know in the comments below because I would like to try some more recipes. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.